Hi there, I'm Larissa from Your Horse Magazine and I'm here at Your Horse Live 2014 with Rosie Jones. Rosie is a recommended associate of intelligent horsemanship. Rosie, could you explain that a little bit to me and let me know what you do? Yeah, sure. So uh, my main job is going out and helping members of the public with young horses or horses with behavioural problems. And that's what all the recommended associates of intelligent horsemanship do. I know that's a mouthful of a, of a title, but what it means is that we're linked to the organisation Intelligent Horsemanship. And that's run by Kelly Marks, who I know everyone will have heard of, who's um, uh, Monty Roberts UK um, base. Fantastic. And can you tell us about some of the cases you, you often deal with or maybe the most interesting case you've ever had to deal with? Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> Put question. Put you on the spot. <laughs> now I'm going to talk forever. Go for it. <laughs> um, OK, well, I remember a horse I worked with once called Vince. And um, he wasn't called Vince when I started working with him. He didn't have a name at all. He was a um, chestnut stallion. Uh, warm blood about 16 hands and he had I called him Vince because he had a slit down his ear from the top to the bottom so I thought like Vincent van Gogh and um, that slit had been done deliberately actually um, by the farmer who owned him um, to try and calm him down because the horse was quite aggressive and um, very afraid of being touched he was managing that with aggression and so they tried all these very odd things that they'd heard old wives tales to, to try and relax him so when he came he was really very difficult and um, at first I could only handle him with sort of a long stick and scratch him with a, a rubber curry comb on the end but he, he really came round actually and he became a really really sweet horse and um, he, he, he went off doing dressage under the name of the Impressionist which I thought was quite a good <laughs> move on from, from Vince with half an ear so he was probably my biggest um, challenge at the time um, and I always look back fondly of him. Yeah. Oh wow and how long did it take to get you know to get him to the point where he could be ridden and everything you know what was the process? Like? Not very long actually I mean we never I never want to be rushing a horse, but it's amazing how quick they can learn when, you, when you're getting the training right for them. Um, sometimes people think things have to take forever, and actually with him, it was, I remember it within one summer that he came in the spring, he was gelded, and, and by the summer he was out um, doing bits. So yeah, it was, it was a matter of months, maybe three months or something. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, this isn't your first time at Your Horse Live. What brings you back? Uh, yeah. What is it about the show? Yeah, so I've been here before as part of um, Kelly's demo team. And that's great fun because there's tons of us and we have a real big team environment. So um, every time I've been here supporting Kelly, I've had a really fond memory of it. It's really good fun. You get to see all the other people. And I've been already to watch Carl, which, you know, it's great to, um, to be able to do lots of learning and lots of teaching in the same space. Um, I haven't done any shopping, but I know the shopping is something that excites <laughs> a lot of people. I'm trying to stay, stay away from too much shopping. But of course, it's, it's really good fun. And also, um, it's nice for me to have some members of the audience who maybe haven't seen what we do before, because you get uh, a whole range of people here. So you could be talking to all sorts of people in the audience, which is quite an exciting sort of um, prospect for me to put together a, a demo that's educational to, to whoever's there rather than a crowd that I know. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about what happened in your demos yesterday and what we can expect from today? Yeah, sure. So yesterday I had Sparky in the morning and um, before someone um, else organises the horses for me. So I knew I had a mounting problem and this horse, they said, um, jumps forward when you mount he leaps forward and runs off and he can't even buck after you've mounted and i love mounting problems actually so i have my body protector ready and i thought well, that would be fun and um and then i phoned and spoke to the owner just to check in what equipment i'd need and things and he's 12 hands high so i thought well body protector off that's not me then i can't ride 12 hands so it's the first a first for me in a demo working with um, a child um with with a problem like that and obviously her safety was the first and most important thing so i worked with some uh, some other ways to tackle the problem rather than using the rider and that was a really fun challenge and we ended up with him standing still to be mounted by the child and and nobody crossing their fingers she would be safe it was apparent that he was he was doing a lot better so that was good and the second horse is a show horse who can't cope with show atmosphere and he was struggling in the stable he was very stressed um, he's flattened his horse and uh, his owner he's flattened his owner a few times at shows he's run her over entirely he's really quite dangerous throwing his head and and pushing into you um, and he did really well in the show environment. It's the best, um, she said, that he's ever sort of behaved in that type of environment. So I don't know if the audience realised how much of a challenge that horse can be because I was thrilled from... He sort of didn't come in too bad. He, um, the little bit of groundwork that he'd done on the way up here and things, he, he did really well. He held it together pretty well. He was a bit stressed by the applause. He's quite scared of things behind him. And at one point, something touched him behind him and he leapt forward and bucked. Um, but overall, he, there were some moments where he was coping really, really well. So um, that was probably the more challenging 
demo um, for me and for the horse as well but probably the one in which the most was was learnt yeah yeah the most rewarding it's amazing how passionate you are about everything it's brilliant it's fantastic <laughs> to hear if you weren't doing this yes what else do you think you would be doing right now yeah as, as a career what else oh, do you I think see. you could well, possibly do <laughs> so I've just started a, um, a PhD at Cambridge and that's actually in social anthropology and everyone says to me what's social anthropology and all it means really is sort of academic people watching so um, my uh, PhD is, is people watching horse people and including myself <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm learning about how people interpret horse behavior and um, and the systems that you go through to believe knowledge or not believe knowledge so uh, I imagine if I wasn't doing horses there then perhaps I could have a career in social anthropology but I'm going to be stubborn and do both <laughs> excellent just make more work for yourself <laughs> and my final question which I've put to all our interviewees this weekend Christmas is around the corner yes. I know you've just moved house all that what what do you want what's on your Christmas list and what will you be doing over the festive season okay well we, we've actually actually moved house onto a boat, uh, a narrow boat, so it would have to be something small um, or perhaps it would be, if I could have any Christmas present, it would probably be tickets to go travelling somewhere because um, we, we love travelling. Hannah and I went travelling um, a year ago looking at horse cultures all around the world and so probably uh, something to entice us abroad like a, a plane ticket would be the ultimate. <laughs> Are you offering? Uh, unfortunately, no, uh, well we don't want you going anyway, we need you for the magazine, we need your expertise, but, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you get that and I hope you have a great time. Okay, thanks, thanks Josie, cheers.